is regarding disassembly and reassembly of Acumen's quick release valve seat puller head. This is a four series head. So a couple of tools you're gonna need is some type of pick and a flathead screwdriver, a smaller headed one. Um, first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove your head from the shaft. Uh, that can be done by turning this collar. There's a connection pin that runs through the crossbar on the internal section of the puller. This comes out, unthread your bottom nose, the head will slide off. So once you get that done, there's a snap ring located on top of the puller head, uh, your flathead screwdriver. You're going to want to take that, pull the snap ring off. The groove, all that's doing is keeping this outer collar down and over the top of the jaws. So at that point, you can slide this collar off. If the collar does not come off, you turn the head upside down, take a punch and a hammer, and hit this a few times, and it, it should slide off. So what that does is it exposes the jaws. At that point, you can take your bottom nose off. Each of these jaws is 12 total sit inside of a groove, so take these jaws out, you can buy a new set of jaws, you can buy a new inner housing, all these parts are replaceable, so there's an o-ring here, also there's a smaller o-ring in this bottom groove that's hidden from the collar. That can be removed with this pick. All this o-ring is doing is creating some drag between the outer collar and the inner housing to keep this from being so sloppy. We're going to rebuild this Acumen Quick Release Valve Seat Puller Head at this point. So there's a couple different ways to do it. Basically hold the inner housing in one hand, grip around the segments that are sticking out. You can hold it in place with a finger. The jaw kind of halfway stagger around, so there's 12 slots total. So. Once you're holding them with one hand, you can take the bigger o-ring, stick it around the jaws while exerting pressure on these pivot points towards the top of the jaws, slide the o-ring up in the groove, and at that point in time, you're going to want to stick the assembly over the top of the bottom nose, then it's just a matter of lacing these jaws. inside of this o-ring into your inner housing so what I'm doing is I'm going underneath the o-ring coming up and into the groove all those are in place make sure this o-ring is sitting inside of the groove on the jaw after you put your o-ring on and your snap ring goes back on Pin goes back inside. Once you slide this onto the puller itself, so you're gonna have to play with this pin to make sure that it 
gets inside of there correctly. Turn the collar to hide this hole from lining up there and that's it.